Hey, welcome to a new video. A trail camera is a camera that is usually hung in the forest to record all kinds of wildlife. In some cases, new species are discovered or recovered thanks to these trail cameras. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. The Lakuga River in the Democratic Republic of Congo is fascinating with both historical and ecological significance. This river, flowing from the western part of Lake Tanganyika, serves as a crucial link between the Lake of the Congo River Basin. In the past, this river was vital for transportation and trade routes in the region, especially during the colonial era. However, this river comes with challenges and dangers. Strong currents and whirlpools make navigation hazardous, and fluctuating water levels further contribute to these risks. Additionally, the environment around the Lakuga is threatened by human activities such as deforestation, mining, and pollution which have serious consequences for the health of the river ecosystem. Moreover, it harbors dangers due to the presence of crocodiles and hippos in the area. Some parts of this river are also known as the underwater graveyard. Imagine walking through the forest and deciding to place a camera to see something eerie later. As we can see in the video, a head emerges from behind the tree on the right side. Videos like this show that forests can be very scary especially if you don't know the history of the place. People in the comments advise the uploader to be careful in the forest, as who knows who or what was watching him. These figures are believed to be the vessels containing sacred substances and are activated by supernatural forces. Nikisi figures, as they're called, constitute a significant part of the artistic and spiritual traditions of the Congo people in the DRC and surrounding regions. They're believed to have the power to reveal sources of suffering, heal illnesses, protect individuals or communities, and even punish wrongdoers. These figures can serve to take oaths, resolve disputes or lawsuits, act as avengers, or guard against witchcraft or malevolent acts. They are usually made of wood and often take on anthropomorphic form, depicting humans or animals. The statues were carved by skilled craftsmen and then activated by ritual specialists known as Naganga. The Naganga fills cavities in the figure. The Naganga fills cavities in the figure, typically in the head and the abdominal regions. It's filled with sacred substances, such as ashes, earth, herbs, and animal parts. Sometimes they also fill it with other materials believed to possess medicinal and magical properties. Each inserted object serves a purpose and may represent a specific request, vow, or binding agreement. The following video footage was taken in August 2010 near a house in the forest. The homeowner was called to investigate the strange light. It's creepy to think about what the source could be behind the lights. Some think it was a burglar with a flashlight, while others say it might be a ghost. What do you think? In this video, we see a person connecting two ends with a wire and a rock, resulting in the wire lighting up. Viral videos capturing the phenomenon of electrically charged rocks in the DRC have intrigued internet users. It even reminds some people of the fictional land of Wakanda from the Marvel Universe Black Panther films. According to experts interviewed, the videos circulating on social media show a rock likely composed of pyrite, a common mineral known for its electrical conductivity. Unfortunately, no scientific explanation has been found for what appears to be a magical rock. However, certain rocks and minerals have the ability to conduct electricity. This property is determined by the presence of free electrons or ions within the material. Metals like copper, silver, and gold are excellent conductors of electricity due to their atomic structure and the mobility of their electrons. Others claim that these rocks are merely a hoax and would not have electrical properties. What do you believe? Let me know in the comments. The next time you hear a sound from the forest behind your house, it might be best not to go outside. In the video, we see a slow zombie-like monster moving through the forest captured on camera. The nature or type of it, however, is unknown. The creature is compared by many people to the character of Remus Lupin and his werewolf form from the Harry Potter series. The Baka tribe in the Democratic Republic of Congo is an indigenous ethnic group known for their rich cultural heritage and traditional way of life. They mainly reside in the northeastern part of the country, where they maintain a close connection with the natural environment and engage in substance farming and hunting. The primary spirit revered by the Baka tribe is known as Jengi and is associated with the forest. Jengi is considered a parental figure and guardian of the Baka people. They believe that this spirit provides hope and contributes to the stability of their society. Furthermore, the Baka tribe believes in a spirit called Kamba, who is believed to have created the world in the rainforest. The tribe places great emphasis on the power of spirits and relies on medicinal beliefs and diviners known as Bange. The Baka people obediently follow the order of the Bange without questioning, 
Rituals are performed by individuals known within specific Baka clans as the father of the spirit. When these individuals from different clans come together, they exchange and share rituals, leading to the creation of new variations. The rituals often involve dancing, singing, and various physical actions to honor the spirit of the forest. Some of the most well-known rituals of the tribe performed are the Jengi and the Luma. A deer captured on camera in the dark is frightening enough, but when we see a pair of eyes floating above it, it becomes alarming. To this day, it's still unclear whose eyes they are. Some people say it has to do with UFOs and aliens. Others said it's the deer's eyes being reflected in the infrared camera. Naguma Monene is a legendary creature or cryptid believed to inhabit the swamps and rivers of the Congo Basin, primarily in the DRC in Cameroon. Descriptions of this creature vary, but it's often described as a large dinosaur-like creature resembling a sauropod or long-necked dinosaur. Witnesses claim it has a long neck, a small head, a long tail, and a massive body. Some reports suggest it has a series of humps or protrusions on its back. It also is said to be herbivorous and potentially aggressive when provoked. This creature has garnered attention in cryptozoology and popular culture due to claims of its existence, similar to other legendary creatures like the Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot. The legend originates from local African folklore and the oral traditions of indigenous peoples living in the Congo Basin. The creature is part of the beliefs and stories of various tribes, including pygmies and Bantu-speaking communities. Some local residents believe that this creature possesses supernatural powers and can bring both blessings and misfortunes to those who encounter it. This camera caught an unidentifiable figure walking by in the forest. When people saw this, they were initially shocked. The figure has glowing eyes, distorted facial features, and has a white cloth around him making him look very creepy. Do you have any thoughts on what this figure is doing or what it could be? The Beely Apes, also known as the Bondo Mystery Apes, are a legendary group of chimpanzees inhabiting the Beely Forest in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Local legends have depicted them as giant, lion-killing chimpanzees with unique physical characteristics. The Beely Apes have gained attention for their reported ability to kill large cats, catch fish, and exhibit gorilla-like traits. They're said to be larger than their eastern chimpanzee counterparts, with heights of up to 5.5 feet or 1.68 meters, and foot sizes larger than those of gorillas. They also have a prominent brow ridge, giving them a distinctive appearance. Several individuals claim to have made numerous sightings of the Beely Apes and observed their unusual behaviors. For instance, one person witnessed an ape feasting on a leopard carcass, although it was unclear whether the chimpanzee had killed the leopard. Additionally, the apes were observed nesting on the ground like gorillas, but otherwise behaving like chimpanzees. A notable feature of these apes is their lack of fear of humans, likely due to their limited contact with humans carrying weapons. As researchers ventured off the beaten path, the chimpanzees became increasingly fearless and curious about them. Bears are one of the strongest animals on Earth, and when you see two of them fighting, you know exactly why they're so strong. This man had put his camera in the right place in the forest. In fact, he caught two bears on camera fighting over their territory. Bears often use aggressive communication through body posture and the angry noises they make. The bear's strength and growling also echoes throughout the forest. Jabafofi, also known as the Congolese giant spider, is a creature from folklore and myth, said to inhabit the forests of the Congo region in Central Africa. The name Jabafofi translates to giant spider in the native Lingala language. According to local legends and reports, Jabafofi is described as an enormous spider with a leg span of up to 3 feet or 1 meter wide. It's said to be covered in brown or reddish hair and possesses a venomous bite. Some accounts suggest that the spider is capable of spinning webs strong enough to trap small animals or even humans. Stories of this creature have been part of the indigenous community's folklore in the Congo region for generations. However, some reports of encounters with large spiders in the region could potentially be misidentifications of known local spider species. The forests of Congo today harbor spiders that can reach impressive sizes, but whether actual giant spiders like Jabafofi roam the area still remains a mystery. According to many people, this photo taken from a trail camera is one of the clearest pictures of a Bigfoot. This creature is said to roam the forests of North America. He's also known as a Sasquatch and is described as an ape-like creature. This other photo was taken at night, but shows the same creature. Could the myth about Bigfoot really be true after all? 
Congolese cultures have a rich tradition of using ritual and ceremonial objects in their religious and cultural practices. These include masks, sculptures, musical instruments, and symbols associated with initiation ceremonies, healing rituals, and communal celebrations. While the Benin Kingdom is located in contemporary Nigeria, many of its intricate bronze sculptures and plaques were plundered during the punitive expedition of 1897. These artworks adorn the royal palace of the Oba King and were created for ancestral altars and ceremonial purposes. The Africa Museum of Belgium near Brussels has a complex history linked to Belgium's colonial rule in Africa. It was originally established in 1897 as a museum that was privately owned by King Leopold II of Belgium from 1885 to 1908. During this colonial period, numerous cultural objects and artworks from the Congo were taken, often through exploitive practices. If you thought the fight between bears was intense already, then here we have a fight between two deer that doesn't seem to end. Park rangers had shared the video on the internet. It shows the deer standing alone on their hind legs while striking with both their front legs. You'd better be careful when these animals behave like this, because a deer's hooves can be very sharp. The legend of Amela and Toka is deeply rooted in the traditions and folklore of the Pygmy tribes in Central Africa. The Pygmies, who have coexisted with other communities in the region for centuries, have passed down stories of this mysterious creature from generation to generation. Descriptions of this creature vary, but it's often depicted as a large reptilian or dinosaur-like creature, similar to a sauropod. It's said to have a long neck with a powerful body and a massive horn on its head. Some accounts describe it as having a rough, scale-like skin and the ability to emit a roaring growl. According to local beliefs, the Amila Ntoka is a solitary creature that primarily inhabits remote and difficult-to-reach areas, such as deep forests or swampy regions. Some traditions suggest that encountering the creature is a sign of impending danger or misfortune, while others believe it possesses supernatural powers or represents a guardian of the natural world. In some other accounts, it's even said that its horn holds a magical power that can heal or provide protection. Looking at this picture, you'll wonder, who or what on earth is that? According to the source, the photo was supposedly taken somewhere near a remote part of a forest in Finland. A camera recorded a human figure wandering around. According to the source, there was a plane crash nearby, so maybe this is a survivor. The other theory is that this is a creature that we have not previously identified. Congo's rock art refers to the ancient artistic expressions found on rocks and cave walls in the DRC. These rock art styles provide a glimpse into the region's rich cultural heritage and offer insights into the beliefs, rituals, and daily life of the people who created them. The rock art dates back thousands of years, with some locations estimated to be as old as 10,000 years old. The art primarily consists of paintings, although engravings and petroglyphs have also been found at some sites. The paintings are typically made using natural pigments, such as red, yellow, black, and white, derived from minerals, clay, or plant materials. Subjects depicted in the rock art encompass a wide range of motifs, including human figures, animals, plants, geometric patterns, and scenes of hunting, dancing, and communal activities. A notable feature of the rock art is the sense of movement and vitality depicted in the figures. Many of the human and animal images display dynamic poses, indicating a narrative or ceremonial context. It reflects a close relationship between humans and animals, emphasizing the significance of wildlife in the lives and spiritual beliefs of ancient Congolese populations. The rock art sites are also scattered across various landscapes, including rock shelters, cliff walls, and caves. Some notable locations with significant concentrations of rock art include Kabira National Park and the Atui Forest. A clown is pretty scary, but coming across a clown in the woods is even more terrifying. This clown also stares through the lens of the camera. He has a painted face, weird costume, and threatening expression. It looks like the clown is straight out of the horror movie It. Most frightening is that he seems to be fascinated by the camera and approaches it to get a better look. Hopefully this is just someone playing a prank on another person they know, and not a creepy clown hiding in the woods. If we are to believe the populations living in the Congolese jungle, dinosaurs have not gone extinct yet. The legend of the Kasai Rex, according to these people, could be a real dinosaur. It's a cryptid that allegedly inhabits the Kasai River area in the DRC. The creature is often described as a large flying animal, resembling a pterosaur or prehistoric reptile. According to local legends and eyewitness reports, Kasai Rex has a wingspan of up to 23 feet or 7 meters and a long beak filled with long, sharp teeth. It's described as featherless and has a leathery or scaly skin. 
Reports suggest it can fly and make a distinctive screaming or hissing sound. The creature also received an alternative name, Kangamato, due to the belief that it attacks boats and canoes, causing them to capsize or break apart. In local folklore, encounters with Kasai Rex are often associated with bad luck, and the creature is sometimes considered a malevolent or supernatural entity. In 2022, the internet went wild when a photo popped up of a strange creature outside a zoo. People asked if anyone could please identify the creature. All we know is that it was captured on camera at the Amarillo Zoo in Texas, USA. It looks not quite human, but not quite animal either. And it looks a bit like a Bigfoot. It's lurking just outside a barbed wire fence, and the photo is said to have been taken around half past 2 a.m. Do you have any idea? Ebola is considered one of the world's deadliest viruses ever encountered. It was first identified in 1976 during two simultaneous outbreaks in Sudan and the DRC, then known as Zaire, near the Ebola River from which it takes its name. The DRC has a significant historical connection to Ebola, experiencing multiple outbreaks of the disease since its initial discovery. In fact, they've witnessed some of the most widespread and challenging Ebola outbreaks in recent decades. The country's dense forests, limited healthcare infrastructure, and socio-political challenges have contributed to the persistence and spread of the virus. Outbreaks often occur in remote, hard-to-reach areas, posing logistical challenges for response efforts. While Ebola is a severe and deadly disease, it's not easily transmitted and requires direct contact with the bodily fluids of an infected person or animal for transmission to occur. The myth of the skinwalker is not something people like to talk about, but you can't deny their presence in Navajo legends. It's believed that skinwalkers originated from medicine men, whose power corrupted them and that they are evil sorcerers who can take form of an animal. Skinwalkers can also take the form of wolves, bears, coyotes, and more. Encountering one in the middle of the road at night is pretty terrifying. The Mahamba, also known as the giant crocodile, is a cryptid reported in the Congo region of Central Africa. It's described as an enormous crocodile, often larger than 39 feet or 12 meters in length. The name Mahamba is derived from the Zulu word for large water snake. Reports and legends of giant crocodiles have been part of local folklore and traditions in various African cultures for centuries. These stories often describe massive crocodiles inhabiting the deep remote rivers, lakes, and swamps of the region. The Mahamba is said to be exceptionally large, surpassing any known living crocodile species. Testimonies of encounters with this creature describe it as a terrifying and powerful animal, capable of devouring large prey, including humans and other animals. In the realm of cryptozoology, which is the study of hidden or unknown animals, the Mahamba is often compared to other legendary giant crocodiles, such as the Lukwada of East Africa and the Congolese dinosaur-like creature known as Mokele Mbembe. A man decided to install a trail camera in the woods, and when he looked back the next morning, he saw a scary face. The rancher who owns the camera said he had no idea what his camera had recorded. Some people think it might be Bigfoot or a Sasquatch, while others say it's more like something alien. The face is disturbing to look at, not only the textured skin, but also the creepy pupils in the dark. This next mystery from Congo revolves around the mysterious appearance and disappearance of a giant silver monolith. But you might be wondering, how exactly do you make a monolith vanish at will? The silver monolith in question is a mysterious metal structure that appeared in Kinshasa, the capital of the DRC. The monolith, standing at 12 feet or 3.7 meters tall, suddenly appeared on a roundabout in the Bandel district of the city. It caught the attention of curious onlookers who debated its origin and took selfies with it. However, a few days after its appearance, the monolith was set on fire by local residents. Videos posted on social media showed people vandalizing the structure with sticks before setting it ablaze. Similar monoliths have been discovered in other parts of the world, including the United States, Romania, and Turkey. Since then, conspiracy theories have arisen, comparing the monoliths to the monoliths from the film 2001 A Space Odyssey. Stories about the Jersey Devil have circulated for more than 250 years. In 1938, the New Jersey Devil was named the only state devil in the country. According to myth, the Jersey Devil has the face of a horse, the head of a dog, the wings of a bat, a tail, horns, and the appearance of a kangaroo. He reportedly roams the swamps of southern New Jersey. Could this be him in this photo? Kongamoto is a fascinating creature from African folklore, described in local legends and reports as a flying pterosaur. 
The name Kangamoto translates to breaker boats in the local language, referring to its reputation for attacking canoes and boats. Sightings of this creature have been reported in swamps in western Zambia, as well as neighboring regions in Angola and Congo. The creature is reported to have a wingspan of approximately 7 feet or 2 meters, and is often described with leathery wings, a long beak filled with sharp teeth, and a crest on its head. The Kangamoto is known for its aggressive behavior, with numerous reports suggesting it would swoop down and attack people and animals. There's also been reports of people being scratched or bitten by the creature, and some local residents attribute disappearances of individuals or even livestock to its activities. Interestingly, the descriptions of this creature bear similarities to pterosaurs, flying reptiles that coexisted with dinosaurs during the Mesozoic era. Pterosaurs had unique adaptations for flight, such as membranous wings and a lightweight skeleton. A camera captured what appears to be a woman dressed in a white dress. According to the story, the photo was supposedly taken on the grounds of Uncanny Valley in Liberty, Texas. Frankly, it also gives a disturbing feeling as if the woman is not quite human. The story also tells that the photo was taken not far from an old slave cemetery that was destroyed decades ago, when someone removed the headstones and buried them somewhere else. In this case, this might be a lost spirit. The term blood diamonds refers to diamonds mined in war zones or conflict areas, and used to finance armed conflicts against governments. Unfortunately, Congo is often associated with the issue of blood diamonds. These blood diamonds primarily pertain to diamonds mined in areas controlled by rebel groups or militias during a period of intense conflicts in the late 1990s and early 2000s. This conflict, often referred to as the Second Congo War or the Great War of Africa, involved multiple armed groups. During this time, rebel groups in the DRC, as well as foreign armed forces, seized control of diamond mines and used the proceeds from the sale of diamonds to finance their military activities. The profits from these conflict diamonds were used to purchase weapons, sustain their troops, and perpetuate the conflict. This had devastating consequences for the population of the country due to the trade in blood diamonds. Mining operations were often characterized by forced labor, human rights abuses, and environmental pollution. Furthermore, the proceeds from the sale of these diamonds led to the continuation of the conflict, resulting in the loss of millions of lives and the displacement of countless people. The Grim Reaper is a mythical creature known for taking away your soul and guiding you to the afterlife. Someone had also captured the Grim Reaper on a trail camera somewhere in a forest. Pretty scary, but unfortunately, not much more information is available about this photo. Mokele Mabembe is a cryptid believed to inhabit the swamps of the Congo River Basin in Central Africa. The name Mokele Mabembe translates to the one who stops the flow of rivers, in the Lingala language spoken in the region. Sightings of this creature date back to the early 20th century, when Western explorers first encountered reports from local tribes. It's said to be herbivorous and semi-aquatic, spending most of its time in rivers and swamps. It's often described with a long neck, a body resembling that of a sauropod dinosaur, and a small head. Some reports also mention the presence of a long tail. One of the most famous alleged pieces of evidence for the existence of this creature is the discovery of several large footprints in the region. These footprints are often described as circular or oval in shape, and attributed to the creature. Have you ever heard of the Chupacabra? It's a monstrous, beastly creature that originated in Latin American legends. It's said to attack ferociously and feast on animals' blood. Farmers caught a glimpse of a strange red-eyed creature before discovering their sheep had been eaten. In present-day Louisiana, a few miles or kilometers from Lake Toledo Bend, this photo was taken. Some people believe it was a hyena, while others say this is a legendary Chupacabra. The Congo River, located in the DRC, is considered one of the deepest rivers in the world. It stretches approximately 2,500 miles, or 4,023 kilometers, through the equatorial basin of Africa, traversing dense jungles and ultimately flowing into the Atlantic Ocean. The lower reaches of the Congo River, particularly the Congo Central Province, has been the subject of research by ichthyologists studying the river's fish diversity. The region features treacherous currents and reaches depths of over 700 feet, or 213 meters. One of the intriguing discoveries in the lower Congo River is the presence of blind and pale fish with unusual characteristics. These fish, such as the species locally known as Mondeli Buru, or White Man in an Office, are small, eyeless, and exhibit adaptations resembling those of cave-dwelling fish. The lower Congo rivers contain deep gorges that require specialized equipment for exploration. These gorges reach tremendous depths, similar to the twilight zone of the ocean. They also feature powerful currents that create vortex-like waterfalls along the gorge walls. The exact origin of the unique fish species found in the lower Congo River, however, remains a mystery. 
Is a zombie apocalypse high on your list of concerns, or do you believe it'll never happen? Maybe we should sound the alarm after seeing this next picture. Apparently, reality is much scarier than anything fiction could ever imagine. In fact, a camera caught something that looks 100% like a zombie. By the way, this is not the first time a zombie was captured on camera. Another photo shows what looks like a zombie child with creepy glowing eyes in the dark. Mbilu 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 is a legendary creature or cryptid believed to inhabit the Congo River Basin in Central Africa. The name Mbilu 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 translates to animal with planks growing out of its back. It's described as a large reptilian or dinosaur-like creature with a long neck and a series of protruding plank-like structures on its back. Reports and sightings of this creature are scarce and primarily based on local folklore and indigenous accounts. It's said to be extremely elusive and is believed to reside in remote and inaccessible parts of the Congo River and the surrounding rainforests. The local population often describes it as a shy or timid creature that quickly submerges or hides when approached by humans. Among all these mysterious and largely undiscovered creatures, this one is undoubtedly one of the most intriguing. If you could bring back one dinosaur-like creature, which one would you choose? Let me know in the comments. It's almost midnight and we see something evil lurking in the dark. But what we see next is something that almost makes your heart stop. A pair of eyes glowing in the dark, staring into your soul. You can't imagine anything but the face attached to these luminous eyes. Judging by the height of the eyes, the creature could be disturbingly tall. I don't think any of us would like to encounter this thing in the forest. The largest known snake species today by science is the green anaconda, found in the Amazon rainforest and other parts of South America. Green anacondas are among the heaviest snakes in the world, with the largest individuals reaching lengths of approximately 20 feet to 30 feet, or 6 to 9 meters. As for ancient snakes, the Titanoboa is known as the largest snake to have ever have lived. It existed about 60 million years ago, during the Paleocene epoch, and was discovered in the Ketahon coal mine in Colombia. Estimates based on the fossil remains suggest that the Titanoboa could reach lengths of up to 30 to 50 feet, or 12 to 15 meters, and weigh over a ton. However, legends and folklore about giant snakes are common in various cultures around the world, including the Congo region. Colonel Remy Van Leerd was a Belgian pilot who gained notoriety for his alleged sightings of an extraordinary large snake in the Congo region during his service in the 1950s. According to his account, he saw a massive 200-foot or 60-meter-long snake in the dense Congo jungle during a helicopter flight. This description would make it one of the largest snakes ever reported, although it's important to note that this claim was never scientifically confirmed. These are perhaps one of the clearest, most legitimate Bigfoot shots ever taken. It's even in daylight, which makes it a lot more believable. It was supposedly filmed near Crescent Falls, Alberta, in Canada, and a strange hiding place was found in the woods made of branches. When this person returned after installing the camera, he saw a creature investigating its hiding place. In addition, a tree had also broken off. The video footage of the tall ape-like creature hiding makes many people think. Indeed, it fits the description of a Bigfoot, as the creature is hairy and is said to be more than 7 foot 9 inches, or 2.4 meters tall. Have you ever captured anything on camera in the woods? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.